This requires two things. In my opinion, it requires that all passengers are to be educated. Therefore, on, on all the social media, on all our website, the fact that passengers are to behave and to behave properly for the interest of all, of, of all passengers on board. And secondly, the captains and the IFOs and the, and the cabin crew um, uh, need to be well trained so that they can take the necessary action when, whenever this happens. An unruly passenger repeats the same uh, behavior or unruly behavior uh, every time he travels. I think it would be a good idea from a disciplinary point of view and also for the benefit of other uh, passengers who do pay and who want their traveling experience to be a nice experience and not be disturbed by someone or uh, who is uh, undisciplined. I think it should be shared, shared obviously within the regulatory framework of the protection of data, but definitely shared so that action will be taken. Obviously, one has to be very careful because airports are um, very vital to the economy. They are natural monopolies almost, especially in smaller countries and even more in islands like Malta, where I come from. Airports won't grow, won't make profits if there aren't any passengers. Therefore, the airlines have to carry the passengers and the airports have to get them through with the whole process. Therefore, it's very important that they collaborate in the first instance. And I think what is required is a very strong regulatory framework uh, for both, so that it will ensure that the public interest and the interest of the, of the passenger is safeguarded at all stages. And that we don't have always the question that um, uh, profits take uh, a priority at the, at the cost of the passenger or of the traveler or of the guest or even of the airline. It's essential that the environment is, is protected and we know that um, uh, a fuel which is sustainable environmentally is very costly. At the same time, we also know that um, the, the issue of prices is a very delicate thing and affects the price sensitiveness. I think it's uh, a challenge which IATA, together with its influence and together with individual governments, should take this up. And we'll see how they can together um, moderate or influence positively um, this, this reality. For example, for environmental purposes, the government do subsidize panels or wind farms and that sort of thing. Why it shouldn't uh, subsidize, for example, this, this type of fuel? 